Well, let's shift focus back to Egypt, which of course is facing a critical sugar shortage. Uh, getting more insight, giving us more insight into this is Yasser Hakim. He's joining us in Cairo. Yasser, as always, welcome to the show. Now, of course, uh, traders seem to be laying the blame fully on the government and its policies in the sector. What really is behind this? Well, it started last year when the government had put protection uh, procedures uh, to protect the local industry against the very low uh, price of sh uh, imported sugar. And that increased tariffs from 2% to 20%. This created a monopoly for the state-owned local producers of sugar, and they raised the prices. Now, this year, the, the high prices in, in sugar internationally and the high price in dollars has increased the imported type. Egypt uh, it consumes around 30 million tons per year, and it uh, pr uh, imports 1 million of those uh, three, uh, 3 million sorry, tons, and it imports 1 million. And this 1 million uh, is, is now extremely high. So with a higher price in the local produce and a high price in the imports, uh, a lot of, uh, of the traders decided to stock their, their, price, their, their sugar and sell it later on with the increased prices because of the higher dollar. Uh, it's, it, the prices of all commodities are increasing every month. So many traders have stocked their uh, sugar and they, they are selling it uh, later on on the black market at much higher prices. And this has caused the problem uh, which led to, to the shortages in sugar in the market, although right. Egypt does have sugar in the, in, uh, produced locally. Mm. Well, Yasser, let's talk about what the government is going to do to stop these uh, shortages. We know they're planning to buy sugar locally and abroad. Give us some insight into their plan. And of course, with sugar prices, as you mentioned, on the rise, how are they going to afford this? Now, what they're trying to do, it's all, it's all a corruption case. It's not about imports and, and government. It's all about uh, trying to control the traders, trying to control even some uh, corrupted uh, employees in some of the uh, um, state-owned companies because they don't take the, uh, the produce to the market. They, they give it to certain traders who keep them in stocks uh, and sell them at the black market. So I think what the government should be doing right now, they should import around, as we understand, around 100,000 tons to cover uh, the deficit in the market and work hard on, on, on trying to uh, reveal some kind of corruption in, inside the system. Just what happened with the wheat issue uh, last month, it was a big scandal and there was a lot of corruption cases there which right. were revealed and, and the wheat situation has been solved. I think it will happen with the sugar and we are seeing it also in rice in Egypt, two very basic and important commodities for the Egyptian consumers. Mm. Well, many thanks, Yasser, for those insights uh, there. Of course, Yasser came joining us in Cairo.